entire country, the entire country yeah. is experiencing power outages. And Sean's been looking at the history of the storms yeah. that have moved over Puerto Rico. Yeah, and you said it. I mean, three and a, almost three and a half million people without power. Uh, they're saying this is probably the worst they've had since at least 1928. Okay. These are some of the historical tracks. Hugo was back in 89. Maria, unfortunately, took just, you know, was a Category 4 when it made landfall. Uh, so not only the wind, but unfortunately the... Uh, flash flooding that's now going on right now because of the mountainous terrain. Uh, those river levels and landslides are adding up here. So the core of the storm is now back out over open water. Yes, it's down to a Category 2, but there will be some strengthening here. So we'll focus on the path here. Uh, by the time we head toward uh, Thursday and Friday, it's going to make a run at the Turks and Caicos, but the worst side of Maria may stay just offshore and away from the Turks. Now down the road, we'll have to watch this. We're talking again, we're talking early next week, perhaps uh, some East Coast impacts here. So we'll be on the lookout for that. Here locally, and as we've been saying for the last several days, uh, it is heat and it is humidity now. There's not a whole lot going on on Live Doppler 13 radar and uh, really won't be uh, over the next several days. This is the story. Almost 90 in Indianapolis, 91 in Terre Haute, but we've got dew points, muggy air, that are near 70 degrees, and so this is what it feels like. Here we are, September 20th. We have heat indices in the middle 90s, and we are going to be dealing with this heat really the next seven days. There's not going to be a lot of change in our forecast day to day because the air is not going to really change. 89, I mentioned that. Southwest wind at 6. You need to remember our average high is 76. So we're way above that, and we're going to stay way above that number here. I want to break down your evening for you. It's just going to be humid heat. We're still in the middle 70s by 11 o'clock. Uh, like the last couple of starts, there's going to be some uh, locally dense fog tomorrow morning. Doesn't mean it's going to be widespread, but there's going to be some locations that have visibility down to about a half a mile. Won't last very long. Much of your day tomorrow is going to be like today. Average high 76. Watch how quickly we ramp up. By 10 o'clock, we're near the average high, and then we're going to be near 90 degrees from about 3 o'clock to about 6 in the afternoon and the heat index for several hours tomorrow once again in the middle 90s. So some sticky stuff for us here in central Indiana as we push almost 90 degrees for daytime highs. And I was getting some grief on Twitter last night. People were saying that, come on, man, mix it up. You're going 89 every single day. Well, that's because the air is not changing. I just got to call it the way I see it. Some locations will get above this number. The bottom line here, though, uh, no big changes. No big changes. <laughs> hey, coming up at 530, I'm going to let you know how rare this streak of heat is for this yeah, late yeah. in the season. It's okay? like playing a slot machine. We might have won something with that. 89, 89, yeah, 89, the, 89. The haters are tweeting at him. Blame Sean. Yeah, don't blame Sean. He's a good guy. <laughs>